Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, people. How are you today? How's everything good so far? <clears throat> hello, hello. Hi, Silvia, Carolina. Hi, Jenny. Qué raro el apellido. Akane. Ah, no, it's the name, right? It's the second name, Akane. Jefferson Alexis, hello, how are you today? How's everything? Hello, hello. Bueno, vamos a esperar. Bueno, ya vemos cuatro. So we can talk. Eh, vamos a ver. I'm going to share here the PowerPoint presentation. Hello, Herbert Manzano. Ah, it's connecting your audio, right? Se está conectando el audio. Hello, Herbert Manzano. How are you? How's everything? ¿Cómo está? Sí se me escucha. ¿Me escuchan bien? ¿O no me escuchan? Hello, Walter. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Excellent. So, uh, my name is Salvador, and I'm going to be in chat of this group. Nice to meet you. ¿Cómo están? How are you, everything? How are you today? How's everything? ¿Cómo estamos? Bueno, aquí estamos esperando que se unan los otros compañeros. A ver si se unen rápido para eh, ir avanzando. Déjenme cerrar esto, por favor. Just let me to close this. Ok, Oops. espero que haberlo guardado. Ok, so, um, nice to meet you. My name is Salvador Hernández. Hernández, it's a pleasure to be here with you. I am an English teacher, a graduated from the Universidad de El Salvador, from the National University. And, um, well, so, um, maybe I would like to know something about you, a little bit, okay, about you. Vamos a ver, me gustaría saber un poquito de ustedes. Por eso vamos a, a you are going to tell me, vamos a ver, permítame. You are going to tell me a uh, short information about you. Ah, no tengo esto aquí. Okay, you are going to tell me your name. You are going to tell me uh, maybe where you live. And nice to meet you. So, esas tres cosas me, me va a decir. Si quiere decir más, pues, obviamente puede decir más, if you want. But right now, only you are going to, I want to share the screen. Uh, and you are going to say something about you. Okay, a little bit about you. Vamos a ver ustedes. Qué poquito son aquí. <laughs> okay, déjenme to connect. <laughs> eh, me sale otra cosa aquí. Vamos a ver dónde está. Aquí está. Here we go. Ya se conocían ustedes, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes very good. Do you listen to me? Yes, I can listen to you, Herbert. Nice, very good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, ahorita, espérenme, solo está cargando. De repente se volvió lento el Inter. I don't know why. That's a good answer. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So, uh, okay, you're going to tell me. So, uh, my name is... You're going to tell me your name, obviously. So, in my case, my name is Salvador. You can tell me teacher. You can tell me Salvador. I live in where you live. I live in Apopa. Between Apopa and, and Suyapango. And uh, it's nice to meet you, right? It's nice okay. to meet you. It's nice to... Ya lo había guardado, pero... O sea, ya lo había hecho, ya lo había escrito, pero... El error <laughs> lo cerré y no se me guardó. Aquí, aquí estamos. Okay. So, what's going on? Esto, ¿Qué está pasando? Esto no. Okay, so here you go. So uh, you're going to tell me this information about you. If you want to say about your favorite things, your likes or your dislikes, you can, you can tell us, right? Okay. So lo, lo ven, okay. por cierto. <laughs> yes? Yes, you see? okay. Si lo ven? Yes. Lo ven? Okay, that's nice, very good. Okay, so uh, maybe Herbert, can you start? My name is Herbert. Okay, thanks, Salvador. My name is Herbert. I live in San Salvador, and I'm nice. It's nice to see you uh, this time, and nice to meet you too. Okay, nice to meet you as well. Okay, uh, what about you, uh, Roberto Gutierrez? Can you introduce okay. yourself? Yes. Good night. Uh, nice. My name is Walter Gutierrez. Uh, I'm from uh, San Salvador. Okay, nice. That's nice. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can you continue, please? Uh, Silvia, Carolina. Hi, teacher. Hi, partners. My name is Carolina. I I like the name Carolina. And I live in San Salvador. And nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too as well. Okay. Hello, Edgardo. Hello, Edgardo. Edgardo de Jesus. Hola. No sea tímido, Edgardo. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Can you say your information <laughs> uh, about... I am from La Unión. Ah, okay. La Unión. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 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 And nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet it's you, too. Nice. nice to meet you, too. Okay. Jefferson, Alexis, can you read the sentences, please, Jefferson? Hello, teacher. My name is Jefferson Alexis Perez Ponce. I live in, in San Salvador. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, uh, Jenny Akane. Akane is. Is Akane Jenny? Akane, yes, teacher. Akane, yes. Okay. My anime. name is Jenny Akane Molina. Hmm? Uh, I work in my Lush Bushini. Ah, okay. Uh, I live is Sal in, in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, I like no to have coffee. <laughs> okay. Fish bread. <laughs> okay, coffee and bread. For, for the afternoon. <laughs> okay. Más ahora que está la pilar, verdad? La, yeah. tormenta, la tormenta tropical pilar. Sí. Así se llamaba pilar, ¿no? Sí, yeah. pilar. Pilar yes. storm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Pilar's coffee break. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. That's nice. nice. To meet you, Nice to meet you too, Jenny. Okay, and Blanca Esmeralda, I don't know if you want to talk. Blanca, are you available to talk? Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Esmeralda. Hmm? I live in, in Sonsonate. Uh -huh. Okay, nice Thank to meet you. you. Perdón. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Okay, sí me escuchó. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Yes, so, teacher. Nice to... Yes. Okay, and we have a Jennifer Figueroa. Wait, se fue Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. How are you, Jennifer? Everything good? Hello? No, se me, no me escucha. Hola, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Jennifer, está, está encendido su micrófono. Ahorita voy a revisar. Ah, yo sí ya le escucho. Yo sí ya le escuché. <laughs> okay, so can you read these sentences, please? My name is Jennifer. I live in. My name is Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where Where do you live? Aguachapán. Oh, tenemos desde la Unión, de punta a punta, desde la Unión hasta Aguachapán. Okay, that's nice, very good. Nice to meet you. Very good. Excellent, very good. Nice to meet you too. And no sé si Jennifer Stephanie quiere, quiere leer las, las oraciones. My name is, I live in, it's nice to meet you. Mm. ¿Y dónde se encuentran esas oraciones? No eh, logro ver. No, no, eh, si don't la... see the, the, the slide. You don't see the slide? No. No, I don't, I don't believe you. Ok, qué raro. Ah, quizás la otra, otra PowerPoint presentation les está dando. Ok, allí está. My name is, I live in, it's nice to meet you. Ok, now I see that. Ah, ok, Live. sorry. Okay. That's great. Ok, eh, Jennifer Stephanie Rodríguez va a decir, mi nombre es, my name is Jennifer. I live in, Ciudad Delgado, I live in, it's nice to meet you. Ok. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jennifer Stephanie. Nice to meet you, everyone. I okay. live in San Salvador, but I work in Sonsonate. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Excellent. Okay, we are <laughs> going to start with the class. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, intermediate one, right? No me equivocado el grupo. Okay, so no, 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 no. In, in the intermediate one, so uh, we are almost to start right now. They are, welcome to the English class in intermediate module number one, online English program. And we are in the session number one, October 30th, 2023. And the general information is uh, my name, 
Okay, Salvador Hernández Hernández. I, as I already told you, I am an English teacher. I studied at Universidad de Salvador as an English teacher, and then I studied the major. Después estudié la licenciatura. Okay, in uh, I like languages. I speak some languages, and I'm here. Uh, teaching you English. Okay. Now, the schedule is from Monday to Thursday from 8 to 9. Hay que estar puntuales cabalito a las 8 porque después de ustedes, antes de ustedes tengo un grupo y después de ustedes tengo otro grupo. O sea que ustedes están cabal en, en medio. Okay. So, uh, virtual, virtual classes, right? In the general information. Now, the agenda for today. Today's agenda. Okay. In the today's agenda is uh, the first day, October 30th, 2023. We have uh, from 7, 7.55 to 8 o'clock. So we have a degree in welcome and general instructions. For the next, uh, from 8 to a quarter after 8, we have uh, the review, the warm up. We have a tongue twister and the attendance. A veces el attendance lo hago como a las ocho y media porque a esa hora ya están todos. Okay, from a quarter after 8 to 8.25, we have a snapshot conversation grammar focus. From 8.25 uh, to 8.40, we have a vocabulary platform exercises. And then we have a simple pass and feedback. And from 5 to 9, we have a closing and five minutes for advices, okay? Questions so far? Tiene alguna pregunta? No, no, no. Okay, no, it's you. okay, no. Now, ahorita le voy a mostrar un montón de objetivos que nos los piden. Okay, now, okay. we have a the general objective. Tal vez me ayuda a leer in the general objective. No sé si, Silvia Carolina, can you help me to read? To contribute to the socioeconomic... To contribute to the socioeconomic development of the country by strengthening English language skill and young and adult people through a practical teaching program that take place in face-to-face -face online mode with the support of technical tools aimed at the productive participation of a student. Okay, excellent, very good, right? Okay, now in the specific object objective, can you help me to read, please? Volunteer? Uno, uno, no todos. A volunteer to read? I continue, teacher. <laughs> okay, Sylvia, no problem. Asking for and um, getting information about simple paths activities, talking about what's and war, snapshot and grammar focus, complete some grammar exercise and the platform and identify activities in familiar um, scenarios and practice model, dialogues for creating personal conversation. Okay, thank you so much for the specific objective. Now, uh, okay, so we have right now the, what are we doing today? So uh, we have the specific objectives for today. Now, uh, Herbert, no sé si me ayuda a leer la primera, se ve. Participants yeah. will be able Particip to. Participants will be able to identify simple past activities and ask and answer some personal questions about activities. Okay, excellent, very good. Uh, Alguien que me ayude, quiero ver quién. Eh, with the second objective, please. No sé si me ayuda. Quiero eh, ver quién, quién, quién. Mi teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jenny. Participants will be able, able to complete. Able to complete. Listening exercise, read and practice a cre creative conversation based in the model. Okay, based, based in the model. Okay, excellent, very good. And the last one, can you help me, please? ¿A quién he escuchado ahorita? Quiero ver. Uh, no he escuchado uh, No sé si Carlota Abigail me ayuda. Repeat some vocabulary. ¿Para qué nos ayuda, Carlota? Repeat, repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete some exercise and the platform and feedback, giving information about the homework assignment. Okay, excellent, very good, right? Assign, homework assign, excellent, very good. Now, so we, here we go. Now, the first activity, okay, this one, this animal is called woodchuck, woodchuck. Maybe in Haiti, you can see them. In Haiti, <laughs> do you remember the Haiti anime? So in the yes. Haiti anime, they appear like this. They appear like this. They were <laughs> like the woodchuck, right? Now you're gonna, well, listen first. What would a woodchuck chuck? What would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chuck wood? 
How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? It's a tongue twister. <laughs> Have you ever say a tongue twister in Spanish? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Ha dicho algún trabalenguas en español? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Pa Pablito yes. Pablo. Very difficult. Pablo. <laughs> Yes, teacher, el de, el de los tigritos. Ah, ok. Los eh. tres tigres. Trigo. Con el trigo. Ajá. Comen trigo en un trigal en tres tigres, tres platos. Algo así. A mí me cuesta ese. Ok, now. Now listen the pronunciation of this one, right? What would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could a chuck wood. Ahorita solo vamos a practicar estas dos. Después en la otra semana tal vez practicamos las otras cuatro. Ok, now, so listen, listen, only listen. Ahorita solo escuche. What would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chuck wood? Ok, ahora trátelo de decir en su casa. What would a woodchuck chuck if a... What would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck... If a woodchuck... Couldn't... Couldn't... Chuck wood. Chuck wood. Okay, excellent. Very good. What would a woodchuck chuck? Chuck. A woodchuck yeah. couldn't chuck wood. Ese es todo el trabalengua. Solo mandas línea. Okay, what would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chuck wood? That's the tongue twist. <laughs> Otra vez. What would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chuck wood? Okay, good. Volunteer to read it? Un voluntario para que se le trabe la lengua. What would a woodchuck chuck? What would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chuck wood? Ok, excelente, nice. ¿Quién lo dijo? Who said it? Herbert lo dijo. No, ¿quién lo dijo? Walter. Ah, Walter. Nice pronunciation. The tongue twister help us to move the tongue. And mm -hmm. two for different pronunciations, the pronunciations that we don't have in Spanish, right? Okay, yeah. otra persona que quiera, otro valiente, otra okay. valiente. A brave, a brave person who wants to say it. Uh -huh. Otra persona que quiera leerlos. Hey, teacher. What would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chat wood, right? A veces voy a aplaudir porque no me duerma, por, by the way. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Quién más? What would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck Excellent, nice, very good. Who said it? ¿Quién lo dijo? Stephanie. Ahí vaya Jennifer, creo. Pero a mí me gusta que me llamen Jenny también. Okay. Jenny, Jenny too. Huh? Okay, so what would a book chuck chuck if a book chuck wouldn't chuck wood, right? What would a book chuck chuck if a book chuck if a book chuck wouldn't chuck wood? Okay, the last volunteer. El último voluntario, voluntaria. No. Ajá. Para que le destrabe la lengua. <ríe> Ajá. Un voluntario más. What would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chat wood? Yo sé que alguien más quiere. <ríe> no sé quién, pero alguien más. Glenda. Ajá. Ok. Glenda. Eh, what okay. would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chat wood? <laughs> Excellent. No, it's okay. It's very yeah, good. It's very good. It's very good. Okay. Very good. Nice. Tomorrow, maybe we are going to practice the other two more questions, right? The other two more sentences. And then we can pronounce all the tongue twists. So we're going to move. Tongue twist. <clears throat> so, uh, so I move this one, but this, this one is not. So give me a few seconds. Voy a, con, con, voy a mover. Ah, como ustedes creo que todavía no he abierto el PDF. Quiero ver. Let me see, let me see. Give me a second. I'm looking for the PDF. Okay. But this is not the PDF. It's not your PDF. It's another one. It's about the past activities. So we're going to talk about past. Have you ever studied past, the simple past? Yes. Yes. Oh, really? Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay, so um, we have but a great time. Easy. Huh? Yes. But it, it, yeah, but oh. it is not easy. <laughs> okay, no, it's not easy, right? It's not easy, it's difficult. The simple past is one of the topics that is the most difficult in English, right? So we have, yeah. uh -huh. 
Okay, we had a great time. In this case, had a, had a great time. Decimos eh, la D, como está entre dos vocales, la pronunciamos como una R, ¿verdad? We had a great time. The top A leisure time activities in the United States. Can you help me to read, please? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer? Eh, quiero ver. Help me to read. Uh, alguien que no ha participado. Jefferson Alexis, no sé si me ayuda a leer. Hello, Jefferson. Hi, Jefferson. Hola, hello, Jefferson. ¿El qué leo? Eh, esto, read, lo ve, watch TV. Sí. Vaya, eh, read, watch uh -huh. TV. Uh -huh. Bed time with family. Uh -huh. Play sport. Uh -huh. Go to kitchen. Uh -huh. Use the compu computer. <laughs> computer, computer. Uy, perdón, computer. perdón. Computer. Uh, go fishing. Uh -huh. Go to the movie. Go to the movies, right? Go to the movies. Okay, now repeat that for me. Uh, okay, todos repitan. Okay. Puede ser en su caso hoy. Read. Read. Watch TV. Watch, watch TV. TV. Spend time. Spend time. time. Spend time. time. With, with, with time. family. With, with family. family. No es family, ¿verdad? Es family. Como que si va a family. querer decir una E. Eh. Ah, family. Family, o sea, family. Una toda Family. 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 Play sports. Play, Play sports. sports. Family. 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 Play sports. Play, Play sports. sports. ¿Qué dijimos que pasaba con la letra? Ah, no, con la, es con la D, ¿verdad? Con la letra sí. D o yes. T entre dos vocales es que se pronuncia como R. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Go to the gym, porque tenemos la T entre dos vocales, aunque estén separadas. Mm -hmm. Es como una R, go to the gym. Go to the gym. Yeah. Por eso decimos eh, get up, ¿verdad? Por eso no decimos get up. The, la, the pronunciation is get up. Get up, yeah. Get up. Okay. Ajá, por eso decimos put on. Por eso decimos, eh, por eso decimos put on, no decimos put on, ¿verdad? So we say put on, right? Put on, use, yeah. Okay, use the computer. Use the computer. Use the computer. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Ok. Eh, la última, como dijimos que teníamos una, eh, te entre dos vocales, ¿cómo se dice? Go to the movies. Go the movies. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Ok, perfect, very good. Ok, go to the movies. Now, so the first question. Check the activities you do in your free time. Now, can you help me with the second one, the second line? Eh, ¿Será quien no ha participado? Quiero ver. Katia Esther, no sé si quiere participar. If you want to participate. Hello, Katia, are you available? The second line, Katia. List three other activities. List three other activities. Do you, do you do in the free time? Ok, in your free time, right? Activities. Eh, porque, por eso procesamos la T como una R, ¿verdad? Activities. Activities. Excellent, Katy. Edwin Flores, no sé si nos ayuda a leer la última eh, pregunta. The last question, Edwin. Ok. Uh, what are your favorite uh, leisure time activities? Ok, leisure time activities. Excellent, very good, right? Do you have any questions so far with this vocabulary? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta hasta ahorita con el vocabulario? Alguien? Mm -hmm. Or with no, the pronunciation? Leisure time, teacher. Leisure time is free time. A synonym for free time, for the time for go running, the time for go to the gym, the time for watching TV, the time for reading. Uh, the, your free time is your leisure activities, uh, an activity that you like with pleasure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand that. Okay. Okay. Es como actividades de placer que a usted le gustan hacer solamente por porque usted le gusta, ¿ok? Like a hobbies. Okay. Yes, it's similar like a, like a hobbies, right? Okay. Like a hobby. Okay. Like a, okay. Now, now, what activities do you do in your free time? Vamos a ver. Glenda, hágale la pregunta a Carlota Abigail. La primera pregunta. What activities? Carlota Abigail, uh, what are your the first one, Mr. Yes. What activities do you do in your free time? Uh -huh. what, activities... what activities do you do in your free time? Excellent. 
I spend my time with my family. With your family, okay. You don't have a hobby or a leisure activity? No, I am mother, so I don't have a lot of free time. Okay, <laughs> what about study English? You like English, right? <laughs> a little bit. Okay, <laughs> okay, that, that's nice. Now, can you tell us, the next person, can you tell us three other activities you do in your free time? Otras tres actividades que usted hace eh, en su tiempo libre. Vamos a ver. Eh, Walter, Roberto, what another activity do you do in your free time? Otra actividad que usted haga en su tiempo libre? Um, I use the computer. Ah, uh, okay. You use... Uh -huh. Go okay. to the movies. I'll go to the movies, right? Okay, uh, nice. Um, uh, I watch TV too. I watch TV, right? The same question. Una, una actividad. So let's, uh, one more activity you do in your free time. Uh, vamos a ver aquí quién. Edgardo de Jesús. Are you there? Está por ahí, Edgardo de Jesús. Yes, I'm ready. Ah, okay, that's nice. Very good. Excellent. Uh, another activity you do in your free time. Una actividad más que usted hace en su tiempo libre. Um, spend time with my family. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Excellent, Edgar. Y la última, what are your favorite leisure time activities? Eh, vamos a ver quién no ha participado, quién no ha participado, quiero ver. ¿Quién es de los calladitos? Abigail Mojica. Hello, Abigail. Hello. Hello. Okay, ¿será que le puede hacer la tercera pregunta a Edwin Flores? What are your favorite leisure? What are your favorite, favorite? Leisure, eh, leisure, le, time. leisure time activities. Mm -hmm. activities. Okay, uh, okay, uh, maybe watch Netflix or spending. Uh, I like spending time with my friends. Okay, watching Netflix. Mm -hmm. I like watching Netflix. <laughs> okay, excellent, very good. The same question, <laughs> uh, Jennifer <laughs> Stephanie Rodriguez. Se le puede hacer a Leida la pregunta. The question number three, please. Okay, Leida, what are your favorite leisure time activities? Uh, vamos a ver si a Leida... Uh, spend time with family. Okay, okay. Spend time with family. Excellent, very good. Now, so uh, we are going to move to the... Um, to Here we have... A, okay, so we have a, here the simple pass. Also, uh, you already studied what and where. Oh, no, not yet. Ay, que como ustedes era el otro, el otro. You already studied what and where? Oh, no, not yet. Estoy buscando, el, was, estoy buscando uh, la clase. Was when, uh, uh -huh. for singular oh, and excellent. where for plural. Uh -huh. Excelente. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yeah. Ya, ya. Hoy sí ya me convencieron que, que ya habían estudiado el pasado. ¿sí? No, porque no les creía. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, ok, no. so was is for... I understand you. <laughs> no, what is for personal pronouns? For personal pronouns, I, he, she, and it, right? Was, lo vamos a utilizar con I, he, she, and it. And where, con cuáles sujetos lo usaríamos where? Uh -huh. We, you, they. You. ¿Con cuáles? You, and they. You, we, uh -huh. you, we, and they. Vamos a utilizar uh, where, ¿verdad? Excellent, very good. Ahorita les voy a mostrar la clase. <ríe> para para que me seco. Ahorita, pero que con esto de estar pasándome de un... De una clase a otra, tengo abierto varias cosas. Now, so you have a past events, right? The goals tell someone about a past events, describe past activities. ¿Y pueden verlo. Yes mm. or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Talk it's about outdoor activities. Now, tell someone about past events. So you have a today. Today, what is the day today? October? October. Very, right? October today is 30. Monday. Monday, right? October oh, yeah. 30th, Monday. And yesterday was? Yesterday Sunday. was Monday or, or Wednesday? Was Sunday. Sunday. Uh, Sunday. <laughs> was Sunday, yesterday. right? Well, yesterday <laughs> was Sunday. And the day before yesterday was? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday right? The day before yesterday Saturday. was Saturday. Today Saturday. is Monday. Monday. Yesterday Monday. was Sunday. And the Sunday. day before yesterday was? Saturday. 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 So, the day before yesterday in Spanish, what is? How do you say it in Spanish? Ayer. Ayer. Anteayer. 
The day before Ajá. yesterday is anteayer. Now, Sábado. so you have... You see, ¿quieres decir algo? Uh. Ok, no. Edgardo creo que tiene el micrófono encendido, Edgardo. Oh, Edgardo. <laughs> Thank you, Edgardo. Ok, last week, last month, last year, last Tuesday, right? So you have these expressions about using last. Now you have a go. Two days ago, two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago. La S se une con la R. Two years ago. Ok, two years ago. you have ago. any question with this pronunciation? No, 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 this time no. Okay, now you have a years, decades, and centuries. Okay, años, décadas, y siglos. Years, siglos. decades, and yes. centuries, right? So you have okay. a 1900. 1900. Se lo voy a hacer más grande porque me va a decir, no lo veo porque está borroso. <laughs> okay, 1900. 1900. Yeah. 1900, 1800, 1700, and so on. 1901. 1901. Oh, one. Okay. Oh, one. 1901. Uh, you have 2001, 2001, or mm -hmm. 2001. 2001 is possible too. 2001, yeah. 2010, 2010, or 2010. 2010. Entonces, la conclusión es que los años los leemos por eh, estas dos cifras y estas dos cifras, ¿verdad? 1901. Eh, for example, this one. Uh, this 1955. 1955. Yes. 1955. 1800. 1800. 1910. Okay, excellent, very good. Yeah. Uh, so you have uh, the, the 90s, los noventas, ¿verdad? The 90s. Mm -hmm. the 90s, 1922. The 90s. <laughs> okay, the, 20, the 20th century, el siglo XX. The yes. 20th century, the 21st century, el siglo XXI. At this time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you have any question with this vocabulary? Tiene preguntas con este vocabulario o cómo se dice a, a alguna de las fechas en inglés? No, Mister. No, no questions. No. 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 At this time, no. Okay. Ahorita les mando la imagen de esto porque va a decir. Eh, no puede mandar la imagen, así que ahí va. Okay. The right now is from the camera. Me dicen si le llegó, si no le llegó, porque no va a ser que lo mande a otro grupo. Okay, so I received it. Okay, so you got it. Yes. Yeah, I got it. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Peter, yo no estoy en el WhatsApp, pero no sé cómo. Ah, ¿no? este. ¿Cuál es su número? Setenta y nueve ocho cinco. Ocho cinco. Cinco seis tres uno. Cinco seis tres uno. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Yo no soy Andrea. Okay, so no soy el el ¿Cómo se llama? No soy el uh, administrador, pero ahí este, ya mandé un mensaje ahí al grupo para acordarme que la agreguen. Ok, Thank so you. right now, ok, well, that's nice, very good. Right now you are going to listening. We are going to move to the listening part. In the listening part, so déjenme buscar dónde está. <laughs> ok, in the listening part you are going to listen some years and you only have to choose, you have to choose uh, the correct year. Ok, usted va a escuchar. Este, do, bueno, va a escuchar un año y usted va a seleccionar el correcto. Esta parte no está en el manual. Ok, so, can you help me to read the instruction, please? Quiero ver quién, quién, quién. quién. Eh, Silvi, Silvia Carolina, que me ayuda a leer, listen en circle, the instruction. Pues, ¿Será que me ayuda a leer? Listen, la... sí, listen and circle the year you hear. The year you hear, right? So you are going to listen in circle the year you hear. Usted va a escuchar y va a cerrar en círculo una de las dos opciones. Espérame. Permítame. Okay, so you're going to listen one of the years and you are going to choose one of the one of the options. One of the options. So for example, here what year do you have here? ¿Cómo leemos este año? 1913. 1913. ¿Y el que está a la par? 1930. 30, right? 2016 or 2016. 2060 or 2016. 2016. And this one, what about the number three? Auction number one. ¿Cómo leemos la auction number one? 1967. Excellent. And the second auction? 19? 1976. 76. 2001 or 20. 2021 o 2021. Ok, you are going to listen and you have to. Ah, pero quiero ver. 
tengo que, a veces el Zoom no me agarra una opción, pero permítame. Entonces, para evitar que, que me va a decir, no la escucho, teacher, no, ahí está. <risa> ahí está. <risa> ok, here we go. Ok. Page 88. Exercise 2. Listening comprehension. Listen and circle the year you hear. One. You hear. 1930. Second. Two. 2016. The first one. Three. 1967. The first one. Four. 2021. Now listen again and check your work. <laughs> okay, sorry. One. Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. 1930. <laughs> 1932 2016 2016 3 1967 1967 4 2021 2021 Okay now you are going to listen one more time vamos a escucharlo una vez más okay or is enough no, no, I can listen to Page I got it. Exercise yeah. two. Listening comprehension. Listen and circle the year you hear. One. 1930. Two. 2016. Three. 1967. Four. 2021. Okay. Now so, listen again and check your work. Okay, the last side. One. That is enough. <laughs> Two. 2016. 2016. Okay. Uh, yeah. I to... <laughs> okay, so the number one, the auction number one or the auction number two? Number, number two. two. Number two. Number two. Uh, number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. 1930. Okay, what about the number two? Auction number one or auction number two? Number, number one. one. Number, number one. one. Number, number one, right? Number two. Number two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Okay, and the, what about number three? The auction number one or the auction number three? Number, number one. one. Number one. Okay, number one, right? 19, 1967. Uh, and what about the number four? Auction two. Number two. The second auction. Okay, so how do you say this in English? 2021. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Entonces, so oh, in formal okay. situations, you have to use 20. Uh, in formal situations. Si va a hablar okay. con el papa, 20. But if 20. you are going to talk with your family, friends, 20. That's the difference. Okay. Okay, okay. now, so here, for example, here we have some uh, these years. Vamos a ver. Aquí tenemos estos. Esto. Okay, tenemos estos, ¿qué? Estos um, years. We have these years. Okay, now, what, how do you say this one in English? This one. Este que estoy señalando. 2008. 2008. Excellent. Thousand. Repita todo el mundo. Thousand. 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 Sí. Podemos decir 2016 o 2016 también, es aceptable, yes. right? What about this yeah. one? The movie. Cuando dijeron que nos íbamos a morir en ese año. <laughs> 2012. 
2020. They read about it. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So we have the past of the verb to be. We have the past of the verb to be was and where, right? I, como dijeron sus compañeros al principio, usamos I, he, and she for was. Y el negativo de was es wasn't. ¿Cómo se dice? Wasn't. Wasn't, ¿verdad? Wasn't. Wasn't. Como que se va a decir wasn, pero no dice wasn. Se dice wasn't. <laughs> wasn't. Okay? Wasn't. wasn't. Now, el where you are going to use with the subject pronouns we, you, and they. We, you, and they. And the negative is weren't. Weren't. Weren't, weren't right? Weren't. weren't. So you have a, a repeat that for me. Was not. Was, was not. not. Was not. Wasn't. 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 Were not. Were, Were not. not. Weren't. 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 Okay, excellent. Very good. Esta es la forma sin contracción. This is the contraction form. Okay. Yeah. Eh, vamos a ver. Um, quiero ver. Ah, este, la O de not no es una O pura. Es una casi una A. Es not. 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 Uh, We're not. not. It's not, not not. No, it's We're not. not. <laughs> it's not. not. We're yes. We're not. So you have uh, these examples. Can you help me? Can you help me to read the examples? Rapidito porque ya solo tengo tengo cuántas. Yo no sé porque siempre se me, se me va la hora súper rápido. Como, como sé, ya solo me quedan como forty minutes. minutes. Yes, around uh, around yeah. twenty minutes. Okay, can you help me, please? The first sentence is Silvia. Silvia, la primera. Uh, it was cloudy. Cloudy. It was cloudy yesterday. Okay. There was a concert mm -hmm. last night. There were two movies last weekend. Yes, concert, right? There was a concert, concert last, last concert. Excellent, very good. Herbert, concert. me ayuda con esta preguntas, estas dos preguntas. Was he at work yesterday? Where was the party last night? Excellent. Y la tercera, de un solo. Italy. Where was she in Italy? Uh -huh. In Italy. Como tenemos una T entre dos vocales, como R, ¿verdad? In Italy. Yeah, okay. In Italy. Ah, Excelente. Eh, ¿Voluntario para que, que me ayude a leer las otras tres preguntas? Pues in Italy. Sí. Ok. El que dijo a mí. Where were the students in the 80s? Uh -huh. where, where we they last weekend? Uh -huh. eh, when, were, when were you at the bookstore? Very good. Excelente. Where were they? Last week, excellent, very good. Glenda, me ayuda a leer la última. Mm -hmm. Who was at the party? Adam was. Was, right? El was, <laughs> la S de was, como una Z, was. Adam was. Okay. Hey, the... ¿Ah? Sorry, uh, and the... Yes, yes, uh, tell me. Uh -huh. There's pronunciations, where, where? Where, uh -huh. where? Where, 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 where? <laughs> like the <laughs> Amazon, right? <laughs> Now, uh -huh. eh, la diferencia, la única diferencia, es casi lo mismo es eh, son por la, palabras homófonas la única diferencia es the slightly different between them is that the where the simple past of where is where en cambio este where es un poco más un poquito más largo where 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 okay. where 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 esa es la única diferencia okay. pero ya cuando usted está hablando igual es lo mismo where where <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Es que es en el contexto en el que se usa. Que exactly. vas a diferenciar cuál es el where del pasado y puede de dónde. También, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's... Yes, the okay. context is very important, right? Okay, now, right. this 20 minutes before, uh, bueno, uh, we have a, this conversation that we're going to practice in pairs. Uh, so you have um, this conversation, que le voy a mandar eh, la captura. So listen the pronunciation. Escuchemos la pronunciation, please. Okay, okay. Page 89. Now you can tell someone about a past event. Exercise 1. Conversation model. Read and listen. Where were you last night? What time? At about 8 o'clock. I was at home. Why? Because there was a great party at Celia's house. There was? Too bad I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, listen and repeat. Va a escuchar. Este, lo puede hacer en su casa con el audio. Page 89. Micrófono apagado. Exercise 2. Rhythm and intonation. Listen again and repeat. Okay. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. Where were you last night? Where were you last night? Vamos a repetir. What time? What time? What time? At about 8 o'clock. 
Out about it, your club. In Cook. I was at home. Why? I was at home. Was Why? At home. Why? Because there was a great party at Celia's house. Because there was a great was party, a great party at, party Celia's, at Celia's house. house. Mm -hmm. There was? Too bad I wasn't there. There was? Was? Too bad I wasn't there. I wasn't there, right? La S de todos los was, de todos los casi wasum, lo va a hacer como una Z, ¿verdad? <laughs> Was there was no, I wasn't I wasn't there. No, there was no. a great party. Was a great party. Y aquí tenemos una T entre dos vocales. Entonces qué qué hacemos con la cómo pronunciamos la T que sí está entre las dos A. At about. At about, about right. Y tenemos otra T entre la U y la E de eight. Entonces qué pasa con la T? At about Are. eight. Mm -hmm. About eight. Um, at At about eight, right? Entonces uh, la T entre las dos vocales las pronunciamos como R. Igual aquí. La T entre la vocal U y la vocal E es como una R. Are about it. Are about it. ¿Ok? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Ok? ¿Do you have any questions so far? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta con respecto a eso? No. ¿No? ¿No questions? No. No questions. No questions. Ok. That's good. Very good. Eh, vamos a ver. We are going to move to the... Este, ok. Dos voluntarios. Por el tiempo solamente de unos cuatro voluntarios para, para leerla. Uh -huh. Two volunteers to read it. Uno dos voluntarios para leer la, la pronunciación. Please. Me. Ok. Ok. A Katy y Esther. Me. Y el otro mí, ¿quién fue? <ríe> Glenda. Ok. Glenda en Katy. Glenda es la letra A. Ups. Glenda es la letra A y es, este, Katy es letra P. Please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where were you last night? Uh -huh. What time? What about our eight? I got at home. Why? Because there was a great party at Celia's house. Mm -hmm. There was. Too bad I was there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Too bad I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Excellent. Very good. Where were you last night? What time? At mm -hmm. about eight. I okay. was at home. I was at home. Why? Because yes. there was a great party at mm -hmm. Celia's house. There was. Too bad I wasn't right. there. Okay, two more volunteers to read the conversation. Okay, yo voy a escoger Herbert. Okay, Herbert, okay. Okay, Herbert and... No, es su nombre. Jenny dos. Okay, Jenny, Jennifer. Okay, Herbert is letter A, Jennifer letter B. Where were you last night? What time? At about eight. I was at home. Why? Because there was a great party at Celia's house. There was? Too bad I wasn't there. Okay, excellent. Very good. That's nice, right? Excellent. Okay, uh, so um, for tomorrow, when, uh, no, hoy no le voy a dejar de estas tareas, sino que nos vamos a mover rapidito al, bueno, voy a pasar la asistencia primero y después nos vamos a mover a la platform. Okay, now, um, quiero ver, quiero ver, aquí está, de 8 a 9. From eight to nine. Uh, say present or I'm here or me, right? Uh, Aleida, Sam Aleida Samaria, Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Blanca Estela Lara. <coughs> Estela Lara López, no? Blanca, Blanca, tercer llamado, Blanca Estela Lara López. Brian Alexander. Salvin Román. Brian Alexander? No. Hello, Brian. Brian, Brian. Hoy no se ha unido Brian. Ok. Carlota Abigail Orellana Lausen. Sí, ¿verdad? Me acuerdo de, de su nombre. Present, right? Edgar de Jesús Maldonado. I'm here. Ok. Edwin. Eh, ¿Cómo es su segundo nombre, Edwin? Edwin. Osvaldo. Ah, ok, Osvaldo, si sí me he equivocado. Okay. Edwin Osvaldo Flores Lazo. Present, sí. right? Ok, sí. Linda Carolina Martínez. Present. Okay. ¿Iba a decir algo, Osvaldo? No, no, it's ok. Ok, okay. Eh, Herbert, ahí está, ¿verdad? Yeah, I'm here. Ok, excellent, very good. Iliana Elizabeth Hernández. Iliana, Iliana. Iliana, Iliana, no. Ok, Jefferson Alexis Pérez. Present teacher. 
Okay, Jennifer Stephanie Rodríguez Ochoa. Present. Okay, Jennifer Abigail Mojica Figueroa. Present. Okay, Jenny Acane Molina. Present, right? Juan José Carpio. Juan José, ¿lo han visto por ahí a Juan José? No. No, no, o no lo conoce. I don't know him. Ok, ok. Juan José Carpio Martínez. Carla Andrea Sánchez. Hello, Carla. Carla Andrea Sánchez Mena. Creo que no está. Katy Esther Guzmán de Ramírez. Katy. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Very good. Uh, Silvi Carolina. Yes, right. Silvia. Me acuerdo I'm here. Bien. Walter Roberto. Yes, right, Walter. Excellent. Present. Very good. That's nice. Excellent. Thank you so much for answering. Ok, so we're going to move to the platform. Eh, no sé si alguien ha tenido dificultad para el, la plataforma. Tell me, let me know. I, I had. Uh -huh. Me, me, I had difficult because I want to sign in, but I wouldn't. Ah, ok. And, uh, es Herbert, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, so voy a reportar eso que no ha eh, podido in ingresar a la, a la platform. Ok, just give me a few seconds. Yes. Ah, ok, eh, vamos a movernos aquí. So, eh, Herbert, me ayuda a leer este la, el objetivo, the lesson objective, please, in English, no in Spanish, in English. Ah, no, todo está en inglés. Ok, in English. Yeah. Uh -huh. At the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. Okay. E.g. I don't know how, how to pronounce it. Yes, yes, irregular verbs. Uh, example. Example, oh, okay, example. I was born in Korea. Okay, Korea, okay. right? Yeah, I grew up in the United States. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I, moved, I moved here 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't speak English. Additionally, additionally, you will be able to ask and answer questions in the past time. Yeah. This conversational English lesson will help you to discuss, will help you discuss the background in greater yeah. detail and get to know people. Okay, in greater okay. detail and get ah. to know people. Oops, que was un quite honest. Was that, was there? <laughs> no, no sé. <laughs> okay, uh, no sé. Sent, sent, sent. Okay. So uh, here, uh, discuss, right? Okay. Discuss your background. Si sí, estoy grabando. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we <laughs> have your, and we have okay. you discuss your background. Yes, excellent. Now, the first exercise is this one. So, for example, you have the auxiliary did here, right? Did is, eh, con okay. was y con where, usamos el was y el where al principio para hacer la pregunta, pero porque es el verbo to be en pasado. Okay. En cambio, con este que tenemos, el, el, en cambio con el resto de los verbos, tenemos que utilizar el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, eh, cuando usamos el auxiliar did para formar la pregunta en pasado, no significa nada este auxiliar, pero lo tenemos que utilizar porque la estamos haciendo la pregunta en pasado, ¿verdad? Did she play soccer in high school? Tenemos yes. option number one. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. No, the soccer didn't play in high school. She played basketball. What do you think is the correct answer? Number one, number two, or number three? Number two. Number two. Number two. ¿Quién da más? <laughs> ok, so we have a, so okay. aquí solamente hay cinco. Ok, no, okay. she didn't. No, no she, she didn't. didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Recordemos que cuando usamos didn't para el resto de los verbos, no para el to be, entonces eh, el verbo pasa a la normalidad, vuelve a la normalidad. Lo usamos en base form. Utilizamos en la forma base cuando utilizamos didn't mm -hmm. y cuando usamos did. No vamos a poner el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? No. Cuando, cuando hacemos la pregunta, tenemos que usar el auxiliar did, pero el verbo no lo ponemos en pasado. Lo ponemos en forma base, en, como en presente. Por el did, yes. el verbo lo ponemos en, en presente. Igual en didn't. Por el didn't, el verbo lo ponemos en presente, ¿verdad? Ok, we're going to continue. Um, two, choose the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? ¿Cuándo te graduaste de la universidad? El college es como el ITCA. Yes. Son carreras técnicas, el college. ¿Ok? Y la university son carreras más largas. Ingeniería, licenciatura okay. de son. 
I graduate en presente, I graduated en past, I did graduate, el did no es pregunta, este, en este, este no es pregunta en este caso. Yeah, so, what yes. is the correct option? Number one, number two, number three. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. ¿Y por qué el, el number número two. tres no? Because you did. It's did, did you Because the, the, the verbs are um, in past. In past. Right. Okay, yeah. so we have a... a Auxiliary and the verb uh -huh. The auxiliary did in the answer in the past, right? Este auxiliar solo lo vamos a utilizar en preguntas y como eh, respuestas cortas. Didn't o en la negativa. Didn't. Eh, I graduate from college. ¿Por qué esta opción no? Porque el verbo está en... Present. 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 The verb is in present. Number three. Choose the best question to match this response. I grew up in Houston, Texas. ¿Mm? Where did you grow up? Uh, where did you grew up? Where you grew grew up? Number one. When, where did yeah. you Number grow one. up? Yeah. Ok, vamos a ver. Usamos did, sí. Mm -hmm. Después el verbo yes. vuelve a la, a la en presente por el did, sí. Yes. Excelente. Yes. Y en este, where did you grow up? ¿Qué está malo con este entonces? The verb. The verb. The verb. Because you are using the verb. Pero estamos hablando en pasado. ¿Y por qué no lo usamos el verbo en pasado? Por el did. Porque tenemos el auxiliar. Por el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Por el auxiliar did vuelve. Yes. What is yes. the mean grow or grow? Grow up, crecer. 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 Yo Thank crecí you. en Houston, Texas. Ajá. Oh, y okay. este no es porque no tiene el auxiliar did, porque es una pregunta y se necesita el auxiliar did. Ok, la number four, solo yes. quedan dos. Number four, choose the best question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago. When, o sea, la pregunta, este, eh, vamos a ver cuál es la pregunta de esta respuesta. Ah. When did you begin to study English? When you begin to study English? Where did you begin to study English? Number la tres one. no es. Number one. ¿Por qué la tres no Number es? Third. Porque el verbo está en pasado, pues y con el did, pasa. el verbo vuelve a la sí, normalidad. Sí. Igual yes. en las oraciones negativas, el verbo tiene que ponerlo en base form, en, en presente, por decirlo así. Regresa a la normalidad. When did yes. you begin to study English? Y aquí, ¿qué es lo que le hace falta para hacer una pregunta en pasado? The auxiliary did. The auxiliary. auxiliary, excellent, very good. Ya vi que están atentos. Choose the best response to these questions. Ahora vamos con, did you have a pet when you were a child? Tuviste una mascota cuando eras un niño. Did you have a pet? Repeat. Did you have, Did you have, have a pet, pet when, pet when you, pet? you were a child? When you were a child. Okay. Oh. I have a pet named Roger. No, I did have a pet. Yes, I did. Okay. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta correcta? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All of Yes. All of them. Uh, no. no, yes, I did. Yes, okay. No, I did. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué I did have a pen? No. No, because it's missing did. I didn't. I didn't. No, sería did, en verdad. Sería, no, no did podría ser. Pero sí, tenemos didn't. esta, esta, el did está aquí como haciendo, está de más. Positivo. Yes. Uh, I have a pen named Roger. I have a pen, yo. Está tengo. Tengo. Tengo, tengo, tengo una mascota pasado. que se llamó. Ajá. Ajá. Yo tengo una mascota llamada Roger. Entonces, para sola, el ver, los verbos en pasado solamente los vamos a utilizar en, en las oraciones afirmativas, ¿verdad? En las preguntas y en las negaciones, el verbo vuelve a la normalidad por el, los auxiliares did and didn't. ¿Ok? Let's check it out. Okay. Vamos a ver si nos salen buenas. Miren, sí, nos salieron buenas. Ya, ya, pueden, ya pueden hacer el examen. <ríe> no, aquí. <ríe> Okay, now, so yes, well, it's correct. Number two is correct. Number three is correct. Number four is correct. And number five is correct. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Now, we have Ray. a four. Yeah? Great. Uh, I said there. <laughs> ah, okay. That's nice. Very good. Excellent. So we have about uh, four more minutes. So do you have any questions so far? Did alguna pregunta hasta ahorita? No, no, this time, no. Okay, the homework is to try to eh, a tratar de avanzar en este, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, tratar de avanzar en la plataforma. Y si usted no está en la plataforma, pues unirse, ¿verdad? Entonces, trate de unirse a la plataforma. Herbert, este, ¿cómo es? Eh, Herbert, ¿cómo se llama su nombre completo? Manzano Ayala, Herbert Rigoberto Manzano Ayala. 
Rigoberto Manzano Ayana. Ok, so para, para notificar. Because I use my personal email address, ah. Hmanjal. Ah, ¿están usando los, eh, los, los emails personales o otro email? No sé. Personal. Con el mismo email que nos, que nos inscribimos. Exacto. Gmail. Ah, okay. no, ya no puede ingresar a la plataforma. Ingresar a la plataforma. Claro. Yes. Okay. Usé el institucional, pero no pude ni siquiera enviar la, la solicitud o el formulario. ¿Me regalas su número, no? Herbert? Eh, el de móvil. Yes. Okay. 7890, uh -huh. 7890, 7890, 7890, 7890, 7890, 7890, 7890, 7890, 80, 90, 22. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So if you don't have any questions so far, eh, so please, uh, so try to complete the platform. Si usted eh, puede seguir en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Usted puede volver a hacer los ejercicios. Si usted se equivo equivocó, los puede volver a hacer. Usted ya sabe. ¿verdad? Entonces, este, ¿cómo se llama? Si no, si, eh, yo le iba a decir. Si puede, puede avanzar este, más en la plataforma, ¿verdad? No es obligatorio que solo esta semana haga esto, esto. Pero para este jueves ya tiene que haber, tenemos que haber terminado la sección 1 este, y la sección 2, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, please, try to complete the exercise in the platform. Thank you so much for joining. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Hey. See you tomorrow too, Salvador. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, good night. Spend a nice night. Good night. Thank you. Good Likewise. Night. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, see you tomorrow. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Thank you.